we're parents, right? Our job is to teach, tell, and explain, especially when kids are three or four years old. But there's another kind of work we can do with our children. And this involves creating a more playful relational space with them in which we back off from the idea of teaching, telling, and explaining. And instead, we ask a simple question and then we wait and listen. A relational space is the space between people. It's what we mutually create with each other and it's mutually transforming. Relationship is not a static thing. Every conversation, every turn by turn uh, in the conversation, we continue to shape our relationship. When I say being playful, it's this idea of being open and being spontaneous, where you're building on each other and you are jumping in with that joy to just engage. Think about play as play, listening with curiosity, attending to the relationship and attending to what is emerging, and yes and. If you ask a three or four year old what they think another child was feeling, and then resist the urge to uh, name emotions for your child or explain to your kid what you thought was happening, they will take the first baby steps toward relational intelligence. Relational intelligence is noticing how we are different with different people, how we have multiple stories, how we and others have multiple perspectives. Here's a sort of a practical, play-based solution to a parenting challenge. When you talk about being playful, you're playing with variables and ideas that are a fit for you and for your child. But for us, this worked pretty well. At some point uh, in every parent's life, their beautiful, thoughtful, creative child comes home and says something along the lines of, I'm horrible. And in our case, our son was around six years of age. When he said this, he was feeling truly badly. So there's a couple of levels operating here. One is we had to acknowledge how he was feeling, but at the same time, we chose to do the following. We took the word horrible and made it an abbreviation. So horrible became honestly, out of this world, remarkably right in being lovely and enjoyable. And we came up with this abbreviation and he looked up and said what? And so we drew it on a big piece of poster board, horrible, and then added these words below and began to play with it. And in the moment that we chose not to directly oppose his opinion about himself, but instead to play with what his opinion might mean, the energy shifted. And later, when he used the word again, I jumped up and made a big performance out of, honestly, out of this world, remarkably right in being enjoyably lovable and, and messed it up and we laughed about it. And again, it shifts the energy. So being playful is a great way to look for layers inside a message, to still acknowledge what our children may be thinking, and to avoid the urge to directly teach, tell, or explain. In a family where you're fostering relational intelligence, there's going to be a chance that you're fostering possibility for differences in ideas, in practices, in ways of being. And the message to a child is, I don't have to be only like mommy or only like daddy, but I can be who I'm becoming.